What's up guys, it's Preets coming back to you with a brand new Binding of Isaac video. Today, we are doing some more Eden Streak. And I know guys, if you watched yesterday's episode, you either saw the same video re-uploaded or you saw the one I posted later that was the correct video. If you guys didn't, I somehow accidentally uploaded the wrong video. Let me explain how I did it. Basically, I my label my videos Eden number. And so what I did when I uploaded the video is I forgot to number my video when I exported it from Premiere Pro. I went to the highest number, which was 11, because I forgot to number it, and just uploaded episode 11 again. So, episode 12 is out there. Go watch it if you haven't. Sorry about that. Very sorry. But let's get into today's episode and go right over to the game in a second. I don't like to edit this part. And then we're going to transition. And then, look, we're over here now. And we can start the game. So, I'm really excited for today. Hoping that we can get something exciting happen. Who knows what we can start out with. And today we start out with compost, and we get good damage because we have cat at nine tails. But compost is actually one of my probably top top favorite items. I love compost, and nobody really like lots of people don't understand why. It's kind of the same reason why I like box of spiders. It just gets you a lot of good stuff really early on because what what does it do? It multiplies all spiders and flies that you have. So we get one spider come to this room. If that spider survives, we get to multiply it. So ready for this? Ready for this? So we have, a, we have one spider. Okay, I guess we have to charge it up again. And also we get cancer. Cancer is a really good item. Um, it gives you, whenever you get hit, it gives you the wafer effect. So it can be really, really good. And we lost our spider. But it's really easy to get a lot of spiders really quickly if you trade in items. Because any item that's on the ground, it sucks up and turns into something good. So real quick, I'm going to pop that. We got a fly from compost and... Blanket would be a good item to have for us, but I think I'm not going to go with that. Also, as you saw, we, we blew up the donation machine a lot yesterday. A lot. It was pretty brutal. Uh, you guys like whenever I donate to the donation machine. I don't like donating. You know, I like, I like just absolutely being a brutal person to that machine. Also, I figured out that if you stand next to this sidewall, you're in a better spot for Baby Plum. Trying to stand on the bottom wall, you are just asking to get hit. Okay. Yes. Spin again. I dare you. Baby Plum is still one of my least favorite bosses. Always will be. And there we go. Baby Plum's dead. We start off with Speedball, which is a good item to start out with. We get good speed. I'm going to full clear because there could be like a library or something. But here, let me show you guys this real quick. So you see how there's a heart in here? We use that. Now we have two flies. So if you're smart about how you use compost, you can get crazy numbers of flies. If you get really good damage, you get really good flies. Everything just turns out well, so it's good to have. And d flies and spiders are very, very OP. They're just extra free damage for the taking. Nothing in that room. Okay, we do start with a dice room. And so if we get something like, um, oh my gosh. I saw that coming, and I was like, no way that's going to come hit me. I was like, that's that's crazy. Somebody, I think it was, yeah, it was BD1P whenever we were playing co-op once. Um, he was like, it's kind of dumb that spiders have so much room. Er, enemies have so much range i was like i don't know what he's talking about then but I, I do actually realize what he's talking about now like enemies have the craziest craziest range when it comes to this like they will absolutely just snipe you from across the map and that's good money right there like with with no hesitation they have unlimited range in every room and their shots just go all the way across so that really needs to change that really needs to change it's kind of stupid it was what i was talking about yesterday in the episode um, I think I said it yesterday in the episode, but, um, enemies need to change so that it's not, it's not easier for the enemy to get, to get, like give damage to you, but make it so it's harder for the player to play the game or like make, make the game harder for the player, not make it easier for the enemy. I said, and what I mean by that is just, I, I explained it yesterday, but like, don't make it so it's hard to like navigate rooms that you get stuck on a lot of objects because objects are weird. I kind of showed it yesterday. But if you go to a hole in the ground, let me go find one real quick. I know I'm going to go slow because of this, but it's worth it. I'm going to go look at it one more time. And eh, there's no holes. We'll find a hole later. But I don't want to go into that room because we don't have any keys, sadly. And we're not going to get any keys. This is what I don't understand. We haven't wasted a key either. Also, oh, we have the holy mantle effect because of um safety blanket. Is it safety blanket? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to go in here. Okay, I'm just making sure I was recording. Um, I was 
trying to uh, upload the video yesterday, and I kind of got into like this whole like weirdness yesterday when trying to upload the video. And what I mean by that is my computer is like almost out of memory because all I have is like two SSDs, and so I was I was going to buy some some more memory for my computer, just buy like an HDD instead of S SSDs. If you guys don't know the difference between an HDD and an SSD, basically SSDs are what what's called flash memory. Um, and then HDDs are disk memory. And so SDDs are faster because they're not mechanical. They're flash drives. So if you, if you have a flash drive, flash drives are faster than mechanical drives. Or I mean, it depends on the, depends on the mechanical drive, depends on the flash drive. But that's, that's basically what it is. Also, I took the yuck heart because it is going to give us flies and we duplicate those flies. So the more flies we produce, the better. And we have compost, so why not? I might go blow up that uh that jackpot gamble machine. What is it called? The the slot machine. That's what it is. I might go uh blow that up just to get, you know, some some free money or like some free bombs, because we can always get that. As you see, it does double. It's very nice. And we obviously take 2020. Now 2020 is a damage down, but it's not a 50% damage down. And we are efficient, like effectively doubling our damage. So it's like a, I think it's a 30% damage down, but a two times damage up, technically. So if you think about it, d divide divide your, uh, or multiply your damage by 0.3, then multipl no, multiply it by two. That's basically what you're doing. Um, I'm going to go, oh, we don't actually have a key yet. I was going to go into there and try to get that gold chest, but we are fine without it. I'm just gonna wait to I don't know why I waited to pop compost, but we'll wait to pop compost till this room. There we go. We got our key. I think I'm gonna go for the gold chest, because the gold chest has more we don't have money, so this has this has more meaning to us. And that's not too bad. We get a bomb out of that. We can bomb this, get another free bomb, and our life is good. Um we effectively lost zero bombs in that entire encounter. But we blew up eight pots, which is really good. I think I was talking about this yesterday. If you if you see a bomb somewhere, always blow it up to get that bomb for free. It's a it's a one for one bomb trade, and you have no clue what could be in those pots under those rocks. It's always worth it, just because there could be something under there. It's not the fact that there it, it, there's not going to be something under there. There just could be. Um, so real quick, let's use this. Go inside the boss fight. We got some monstro action in here. We like monstro. He's an easy boss. He's a very easy boss actually. Um, Monstro has never really been too hard. Monstro 2, on the other hand, is kind of like, he can be rough. Just because he shoots out those four flies that when you kill them, they shoot in a, like a cross direction. Those guys are just annoying because you, you want to shoot at Monstro, but you can't stand directly in front of him. You can't stand directly behind him, and you want to stand directly in front of him so you can get him to proc his brimstone. Okay. So I think we're once again going to go for angel deals because I don't really like devil deals. But just for you guys, we're going to step in here just for now. Um, and honestly, contract from below is pretty good. And we have good health. You know what? We're, we'll go for devil deals. So contract from below basically makes us lose. We don't have any more chances of going for angel deals. But we are kind of just, I mean, we're, we're, we're good. We're going to get double drops from every room. And so double drops from every room means we're going to get more soul hearts. We're going to get more chests. We're going to get a lot more drops on the ground, which means we could get a lot more health. And right now our health is looking real good. And if we're going down the devil deal path, you want to have a lot of red heart health to take devil deals. But there are some items where you don't want to have hearts. Like if you're talking, if we're talking about like horror Babylon and we're talking about empty vessel. So we're on a good, we're on a good number right now. Losing out on angel deals, though, angel deals are far superior to devil deals, um, especially when it comes to the Eden streak, because angel deals are free. Angel deals are now, like, just because they completely buffed the angel pool, they are just so much better, but we have to we have to give some love to the devil deal pool, because, I mean, devil deals, who doesn't like a good devil deal? Devil deals give us stuff such as brimstone, death's touch, let's see, Abaddon, Abaddon, Oh, I don't know what I was doing there. And see, look, we got two keys, and we didn't even have any keys on the last floor because we were doing bad. And I do want to take school bag with us, if at all possible. But wait to use your bombs till the end of the floor. I know I never do that, but you should always wait to use bombs till the end of the floor. Why? Because there could be a better use of your bombs. If you ever only have one key on a floor, you have to decide. You have to, it's a harder decision, but like, 
it's almost always smarter to go into the shop if you have an, like enough money to buy items and have enough money as well to buy a key. Because if you're like if you're needing health, if you're needing like more keys to get into the item room, like if you're low on keys and you have lots of money, always go into the shop. And what we're gonna do here is this is the smarter play. We use compost, grab this, we use it again, and now we have eight flies. And so as you guys can see, it does double the amount of flies you have. And so it can get really, really strong really, really quickly if you um, if you have the means to power it up enough. It's like a really good item to have with it is also right here. We turn that into a spider, we turn that into a fly, and we're pretty goaded from now on. What I'm going to do is immediately come over here, shoot the black poop, try not to die, come in here, and we'll open this because we need, we need more stuff. We need more keys, we need all of that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, just shops... Go, those are shops are better than item rooms if you need health and you need keys and you have lots of money so just remember that smart stuff um, also if you have the battery with compost you can pick pretty much you can wait till you have four charges on it which is gonna be two rooms or four rooms worth use it twice to get more flies and you're in a good spot uh, and we haven't we have a, we want as many keys as we can but we'll start using compost on keys and honestly Contract from below plus compost is a pretty good combo. I will use compost now to double our flies. And there we go. And right now we're kind of just stacking up our items. And there we go. Okay. So Parasite causes our tiers to split when they hit enemies that do like lower damage tiers. I don't know how much lower damage. I can't remember. But they're, they're, they're considerably lower damage. But it's just overall higher damage output. And there we go. We got some health. Because we get double drops, life is good. And we kind of want a higher devil deal chance. So I'm going to blow this bl this guy up. <laughs> but another thing is, wait to use your bombs and your keys till the end of the once, until you've seen the entire floor. Because there could be better rooms. Um, and there are better uses for it. There's been times where I use a bomb. I use a bomb to like get some money off the donation machine. And then I find like a room that has like two bombs in it. That I could have gotten with one bomb. In that case, I should have I should have waited. If I would have waited, I would have been in such a better situation. But I was impatient. I didn't do that. Also, we're taking school bag with us because we can get some crazy, crazy combos with compost if we get lucky. And the super secret room should be right here. Yeah. Um, a good rule of thumb is that the super secret room is going is, is like a lot of the time going to be close to the boss fight. Now that is not a hundred percent rule, but I would say, like, pretty much, four out of five times, the uh, super secret room is going to be near the boss fight. At least decently near the boss fight. It's going to be a kind of, I mean, it, like right there, the room, like, it's usually going to be in the room immediately next to the boss fight. And by usually, I mean, let's say sixty percent of the time, I would say. Um, if there's anything blocking. Uh, blocking the like from blocking it so there can't be a secret room right next to the boss fight then there's a good chance that's gonna be in the closest room that has the, the, the closest room to the boss fight as well so there's a, I mean it can change a lot it really depends you just have to know how it works also marrow is pretty good because we can do this grab a red heart health get a bunch of flies and honestly we can just get out of here go to the next floor I really need to drink some water I've not had enough water today but I'll get some of that after this recording. And right here, should I go in here? The answer to that question is no, maybe, who knows, but I'm going to do it. I like I just like being fast. And this isn't too bad. What we're going to do is we're going to go like this and get both of those chests open in one fell swoop and hope that we don't lose our bone heart. And so with those rooms right there, those are a little less risky to um to go into. Also, right here, like, if you find a room like this, this is why you don't use your bombs for the entire room. Also, this is why you always bomb for bombs, because that's that's what could happen. I'm not going to go in there right this second, but I'm going to come back in here, open this up, get our hearts. But these rooms right here, a lot of the time, will have more keys in them, or they'll have, like, red chests. Th these rooms are pretty good, uh, but, like, still, it's always the safer idea to wait to use your keys and wait to use your bombs till the end of the floor till you know how many bombs and keys you'll need for the floor. You'll never know when you're going to get more stuff like this. And right here, we're definitely going to pick up Boom. 
Why are we picking up boom? Because it give us, gives us five bombs, and bombs are good to have. So we want to get rid of that because we don't really exactly want to be holding it for too long. But that right there was a good good thing to get. More, the more bombs, the merrier. Also, boom's pretty good. At, what's nice about boom is it makes it so it's easier to use bombs offensively. Instead of having to place it, get really close to the enemy, you can instead place it and lure the enemy close to it. And also, if you don't place it close enough, you can like spend time making sure you shoot it close enough to the enemy. And so, yeah, you got a lot more options in that in that situation. Um, right here, I'm gonna wait to do this because I mean it's only a it's only a wooden chest. Or I should say a brown chest because there are now like wooden chests in the game. Oh, that was a black rune. Okay, this is why having this item is going to be a little bit weird. So we have to drop our bombs. My controls are all messed up in my mind. And we did find gulp, which gulp is really good. There could be a trinket in here. No trinket, too bad. Uh, let's go find the shop and also let's go find the item room. My nose and everything is so itchy today, as per usual. So let's hope it gets less itchy. Godspeed nose. No more itchiness. So here we do have blasting cap. I don't remember. Blasting cap. I don't think we want blasting cap. So we'll turn that into a fly. Get a spider. But we don't want to use, use blasting cap. Because blasting cap could be a little bad. Also we do want to come back in here. And turn those hearts into flies. Because we have compost. I don't remember what blasting cap does. Now, there is a brown blasting cap, which makes it so whenever you destroy poop, it explodes. And I don't think this is it, so I'll just sculp it. That gives us more room for more trinkets. I don't think we're going to find that many trinkets that will be that useful. So I'd rather have the card room open. And this is why, because we can get stuff like the chariot. Okay, if we can get uh, any sort of flying, just for a second, we can uh, go into our soup, or like our curse room. And as I, I've said this before, but curse rooms are actually really, really good. If you have only red heart health, it won't take away your devil deal. So if you have red heart health, always go in to the curse room. Or always go into the curse room if you have means to get your health back. Like, I usually go in, in there even if I don't have the means to get that health back. But I know that if I know if I have enough health, I'm fine to take that risk. Um, sadly, we did use the... We lo lost the yuck heart. How did we use, lose the luck heart? Oh gosh. And so in this situation right here, we go into the shop, we see what's in here, and now this is lucky. We do get lucky and get a three cent key, but if you have fully upgraded shops or the ability to have those, it's going to be OP. Also, compound fracture. So this is what's happening right now is we, we have both compound fracture and split shot. Compound fracture breaks your, breaks your tiers into multiple different bones and split shot breaks your shot into multiple, like two tiers. So now we just have a lot, each one of those bones is shooting two split shot tiers. Very OP, like very, very strong. <laughs> also, we're in a good spot right now because we can, we can use our bone heart to like lose half a red heart and then go into the curse room. And so if we lose half a red heart, we can fill that back up. We don't lose our angel deal chance. It's going to be a smart decision. Um, we just don't want to lose out on our crush room and we don't want to lose our bone heart so real quick i'm just gonna turn that into a fly i know i said i'm gonna use it in in this next room right here um but we should be fine if there's any enemies in here i do get hit which i shouldn't get hit now this is this is a, not a smart idea i should have just used chariot right there to get that and then get out of the room but no matter what i'll use chariot get out of there come in here I'm not going to use uh, get that red heart because we want to have all three of those red hearts in that room so we can use compost on it because compost, good. Um, another good strategy that you can use, like if that item in that item room would have been bad, we could have uh, re-rolled until we got an active item. And so no matter what the active item was, if it was better or anything, I could have I found the active item, switched out with boom, and then kept on re-rolling. And so we don't want boom. So that getting that out of our inventory is good. Allows us to reroll. It puts us in a good spot. So that's it's always a good a good plan to do that. Um, but I think do I want anything that's inside of this shop? I want 
I want mom's key. It gives us keys and we're low on those. And it also gives us better chests. And so better chests is super, super powerful. Um, having that sort of ability just to have just more and more stuff inside of chests means that we can get more uses for our compost. We can like get more items because we have more chests that could spawn because of contract from below. And this is just setting us up so that we can just get more and more and more and so that we can be in a better position just for later in the game. So this is kind of stuff you want to think about. Also, this right here is such a shame. If we could get in there, our life would be really good. And who knows, we could get in there if we get this devil deal. Um, if we get a fly flying item in the devil deal, I might take it. Or if we get enough items in the devil deal, I might try to get Leviathan. There's a lot of stuff we could do. And I already looked right there, and so the secret room is probably going to be here. Now, the secret room's most... The reason I thought the secret room is most likely going to be there is because it's the closest room to the boss room. If it's not there, and it can't be here, there's only one like possible spot left. So there's another tears up, which is really good. We know what most of these pills do. Not most of these. Okay, that's a tears down. And that's a I am a wizard. But it's okay. I mean, this is if, if you have pills, you have to know that there are going to be some consequences. If you know what the tears up pill is, you really shouldn't take any other pills. There really aren't any other pills you want other than the tears up pill. Range up doesn't really matter. You're going to get range and run. Like, shot speed up, you're going to get shot. You don't even want shot speed. You're going to get shot speed, that like any shot speed that you might want out of items. Just if you find a tears up pill, like right now, I should not, not be using any other pills because the only thing that could be good is a 48 hour energy or um, a balls of steel. And there we go. We do get perfection, which sucks because we could have gulped that. But we can uh, we can grab this. That's a range up. And as you see, you get a lot of range, up, range ups in a run. So there's nothing to worry about it. We will use compost. And here, we are going to take both. So before we take both, what we're going to do is we're going to donate to this guy. We're going to pick up this. So false PhD is really, really good um, for us right now. Because we are going to have no red heart health, but we're going to have a consistent source of red heart health. And also vengeful spirit. I forget when it gets. Every time you get hit, you get like another spirit. So it is really good. Um, I'm going to touch this guy until I have like one le like two less hearts. Okay. Now that's pretty good. I would have. I kind of wish it would have been a different pill. But that should be fine. Also, it's kind of weird. There's there's only certain pills that get you black hearts when you use them, and certain pills that give you damage ups. So there still are going to be some items left that will give us um, items that we don't want or uh, stuff that we don't want. Like X lax, it's not a bad pill, so it's not going to take it out of the pool. But it's not going to give us a red heart or or a black heart or any damage up. And our tier rate's really good. We have we have nose goblin, which any of our tiers can stick to an enemy, do more damage. Our stuff's going to break apart like crazy, do more damage. Like, we are in a very, very good spot. I did just get hit, but we do get a Vengeful Spirit. And I'll bomb this. If you're bombing a room like this, you always want to put the bomb in a spot where it could maybe get the secret room. So, like, right here should be at the right spot. No secret room, but we do get a bomb back. And we get Curse of the Tower, which I personally like Curse of the Tower. I think Curse of the Tower is really good because it allows you... Oh, gosh. This is going to be a skeleton hand. You can tell because this room only has skeleton hands. There we go. And we get a free secret room. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's called dissociation, baby. We love it. Uh, this is a pretty good item. Dead Tooth gives you the chance to spawn uh, or shoot a higher power. I think it's a 2.5 times tier or a 1.5 times damage tier. Really good. But I'd rather have Nose Goblin because that's going to be more damage when it procs. More damage than if uh, Dead Tooth were to proc. Because with Nose Goblin, we get continual damage for every like every second, every tick that that, um, that tier stays on the enemy. So like right here, that spider's just going to take up more damage. He took more than like 2.5 2 times our damage just from that, most likely. We did get hit at some point. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, right here, I could go and grab... Uh, those chests in the middle but what i'll do right now i'll use the tower card sadly uh none of them went all over onto the island 
But now we're going to wait until uh, we finish the floor because we need keys. Actually, so this is... We're in a weird spot right now. So we need keys in order to get into the item room. And we only have two keys. And so if we want to get that chest right there, we have to use two keys. If we want to get into this chest right here, we have to use one key. But that gives us one key left. And we can't go into the shop and the item room. You, hopefully, you want to be able to go into the shop and the item room and get more keys out of the shop if need be. Or just get more keys on the floor. But we do have better chests. So once I, if I get this, we are almost guaranteed to get at least... I mean, we got lots of money out of that. Um, so this is really good. I'm going to grab this compost i should have composted outside the room but we did lose the gold chest i knew we were going to lose the gold chest but i didn't i wasn't thinking about the key so the key's too bad but we don't need that we should be fine and we're not going to take more stupid damage by going to the curse room also is this going to give us okay this is actually good if there are uh the reason why that's really good for me right there also i'm taking a lot of damage the reason why that's good is because red chests have a good chance of containing pills and we want as many pills as we can get our grubby little hands on because red pill or pills mean damage up or more health. And so the only time that we don't really want to use a pill now is if it's a uh, like a tears up or a tears down pill or if it's a um, bad trip. Bad trip will be a one for one for a black heart. So we could trade a soul heart into a black heart. But that's I don't know. That's, it's not worth it. It's not not worth it. It's just kind of stupid. This is going to be needles. Mini pins. It's pins and needles, guys. Is it funny? Get out of the way of that. We just do a lot of damage. We have a lot of output right now. So we are very well off. And honestly, I should be trying to use compost at the end of rooms instead of at the uh, the, the beginning. Or I should be using the the using compost right before a room ends. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so right here, we need more keys. We'll buy that. Um, we bomb this guy. And I'm going to donate a little bit. Let's go donate to 75 if we can. Also, I'm scratching uh, my, my waistband. It's itchy. Oh, we donated a little bit past. I'm not going to blow it up or anything. That's That would be kind of stupid. But I'm guessing I, f I feel like the super secret room's here. Nope, it's not. That's fine. We'll survive. We don't need that. We, we are in a very good spot right now, but also a spot that I don't want to be in, which is a spot where we don't have too too much health we want to have a little bit more health than this i'm also going to go buy a battery real quick but this amount of health is just awkward because it's it's scary it, very quickly you get into a very scary health situation you get to a point where you don't exactly have enough health to uh confidently go through the, the end floors and so we want to build up our health a little bit and then we get some more keys and then we get our item room so that's actually really good Infestation shot for us. Or infestation, that's when we get hit, we get more flies. It's going to be super, super good. Also, does this usually go in this direction? I feel like it doesn't. Let's get this key, or I mean this coin. Coin and key start with the same alliteration. Okay, do we, we don't want him, I don't think. So I won't grab him. Eh, actually, he's fine. He's cool. Bum friend, you can come with us. He is like the, the worst of the worst, though. I still hate him. But he can come with. He's he's cool enough. Um, ooh, okay. Uh, we're gonna just turn those guys into that. Be in a good spot, and yeah, we should be good to go. We're still in the half damage territory instead of taking full damage for every shot. And I think the secret room is either gonna be right here or right here. There we go. So this what what this item does right here is when you touch it, it, it makes you take damage, but you get more charge, and that's not good for us. We don't want that. Like we could get a lot of charge for our, our item using that, but that's not that's not enough to. There's no reason to take that because we're only gonna get spiders who are gonna die really quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh look at that. That was skill right there. We got another range up. How big's our range now? Oh, we can pretty much go all the way across the room almost. Uh, we'll go down to the next floor. And the gold battery is kind of just bad. I don't know. Unless you have, like, a lot of health and you have a lot of sources of health, I would not take it. Um, there we go. We're in a good spot because we do have a lot of sources of being able to hit somebody. So we don't have to be, like, directly in front of them to hit them. We got some more keys. 
And the hope is that the secret room is going to be connected to that bad boy. And let me show you what I mean, like how I should probably be using my... Okay. I should be using it so as soon as I end a room, I use it, like right before it ends. That way I get one charge and can have a better chance of getting more spiders. So right here, I want these spiders not to die. We pop this open, pop this open. We really don't need more bombs, so we can do this. And look, we got a lot more spiders. So, yeah. I mean, we can use compost however we want. The chances of us getting a dumb amount of flies is pretty low. But it's fun to get a lot of flies. Super Secret Room could be right here. Am I am I following my advice of not using bombs till the end of the floor? No. Do I usually listen to my own advice? No. Do I think I give good advice? Yes. Why don't I listen to my own advice? I don't know. I just like... Uh, it's... I'm too, I'm too, I'm, I don't know. I like, I like what I do. It's fun. Now we could be ultimate risk takers and uh, go down through womb without getting the Polaroid and just be cool for that. And what I'm going to do here is we're going to take, we're going to take, we're going to take the health right now. Oh, hey, Monstro. We're taking the health right now because health is more important than um, getting the present. The present would be good because it can give us, like, a free devil deal. Also, okay, we're, we need the present. There's no reason for us not to take the present because right now, boom is not useful. But we'll see if we get enough money and don't have to actually blow up the machine. And real quick. Okay, so that's the Eternal eternal D6. And that's actually pretty good for us. I might take that instead. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the Eternal D6. Then we're gonna get this get this present. And we're going to re-roll both the present and the item. Okay, listen, little bum friend, I understand you're trying to get your money. Trying to get your bag, as they say. You can have those two. You happy? Good. Oh, let's buy the present. That's pretty important. We'll leave compost here for a second because I'd rather not have to come back and get it. Or not have to come back and get one item just to do this. This gives us booger tears. That's insane. Uh, we reroll this. Okay, we get a good item that gives us some health up. We are in a much better spot now. And Eternal D6 is pretty nice. It's pretty nifty. I'd rather have the regular D6, but we can't have everything. Um, we found the shop. We found this. Yeah, the boss room is going to be up and to the right. That's pretty much the only direction we can go. Like, <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Like, that's a pretty, uh, dur statement. Of course, it's going to be up to the right. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Nothing else is going to be on this floor. Please just pop your head up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Oh, this is a bad room. It's not that bad. Whenever these rooms have, uh, the brimstone guys, that's a bad room. But this room right here... It passes the check of what I absolutely hate to be in this room. No, it's a fine room to be in. Just takes a second and it's boring. Take that. Yeah, you're good. Now, the boss room is going to be up just inside that room. Why am I not going there? I don't know. I like full clearing. Full kill like, clearing is fun. Are we going to be able to get into this art, this challenge room that we're, we see right here? No. But we are going to be able to take Holy Crown. Which Holy Crown, what that does is it gets us an item room inside of Cathedral. And also gives us a shop in Cathedral. And I want that. I want that bad. Thank you for the key, man. I respect that. We can compost that. Come in here. And look at this. This is where we this is where we build our empire. Empire. Now we could build our empire here. But sadly. Actually, this would be also really good for us. This is sad. Well, sorry I can't charge you up, mister. Um, this right here would give us just more, I think, spiders, I believe. So that would have been a pretty good item for us to have with us, but I don't care. We don't need it. We'll be fine just how we are because we don't have any more item rooms. We don't have any more shops until we get to Cathedral, so it's not like we're, I don't know. I, it's, I don't know. Compost is kind of getting to a point where it's either going to be really good if we get anything good or really not that good. And we have really good tiers, so I'm not even too concerned about this. We have Safety Blanket. We're fine. We're fine. We're in a good spot. Okay. Also, if you guys have not, uh, if you guys want to join the SMP, remember it's members only right now. It will be become public, I think, eventually. 
Um, it just can't handle that many people on it right now. That's another reason why we don't have it public because we're trying to get it so we can like figure out the whole like how to get white people listed the most efficient way, uh, the best way to how much RAM we might need. Just figure out all the uh, questions we have. And uh, we're definitely go to going to go to Isaac. So we come in here. We're probably going to reroll this. I want to blow this up. That's free damage. Oh, whoa. Okay. So that tier didn't hit me. I think we have a slight mind effect from... Oh, we want coal. We want coal real bad. I think we have a slight mind effect from the armor. I never remember what it does, but I know it's good. So, yeah. But yeah, the SMP is members only. So if you guys want to join that, uh, if you guys become members on the channel, you guys can see the member only post that gives you access to it. And we're having a fun time on there. I, I built a really cool... Uh, and or a nether portal today or like a really cool design around the ne the nether portal but we're like really uh building up we're starting the game we're starting to game a little bit more starting to get a little bit further in there it's really fun um i feel bad about being like hey everybody become a member it's just if you're as i said before in other episodes and other videos i've made and on stream if you're paying and you're a paying member of the channel um, one, you are directly con contri contributing to uh, us being able to pay for the server because servers aren't cheap. Um, we're about to have to upgrade the RAM, and it's going to be forty dollars a month for the server. Maybe I might be like, "That's a lot of money." Do you need to be paying for that nice of a server? Yes. We are. We've had like I think we had like twenty people on at once, and the lag was really not that good because our server is, I think, good for. We have six gigabytes, and it's only good for, like, twenty people. And so whenever there's two different, like, there's the BD1P group and there's the my group going in there. Like, it, it, we're all in different areas loading different chunks. There's just a lot going on. We're trying to make farms. It's it's just a lot. So that's kind of like, I don't, I'm not going to talk more about the Minecraft on this little episode of what we're doing. But, yeah, that's, that's kind of just the reasoning behind all that. And this is going to get us a black heart. And so we're going to take it. And we're going to be in this area. And we get more coins. Thank you, my good sir. Now, this is the one pill I said we don't want to take. Am I going to take it? I think I'm going to. We're going to get... I, I, I hope we get more tier 8. That's going to be the goal. To have some more tier 8 eventually. But for right now, I want more health. Actually, no. I want more damage. That gives us more damage. I used to talk about this a lot when I would play um, just my long format episodes before I got a million percent. Back in the day, my first Isaac videos. Um, whenever you're playing, what matters is your DPS. It doesn't matter what... Ooh, this is really good. So, DPS is all that matters. And so, if you have high damage and low tier rate, you still have a DPS. A good TP DPS. So, Polyphemus gives you a good DPS. Because you have, like, a tier every, like, second or so. Like, I think it's, like, 1.4 seconds. But it does 15 damage. Right now, I have three tiers pretty much every second and it does about 15 damage now we're further in the game so um like at this point polyphemus would be upgraded and like it would be better but dps is what matters so a a low tier rate and high damage is good a high tier rate and low damage is good as long as the dps is good and then we get pandora's box and so i think it's really good on the floor we're on Oh no, I re-rolled, no, I re-rolled compost, but we got some damage up and we also got some tier rate up, so we're in a good spot, that's just a little unfortunate, and by a little unfortunate, I mean very unfortunate, I don't know why, I don't know why it would ever make sense that when you pick up an item and you have school bag, the item that comes to hand is the item that you didn't just pick up. That's ridiculous. I blame the game. Not my fault. I'm mad. But compost is kind of useless at this point. It's good early floors when you can maybe build up some flies. But now, we're in a point where we can't do that. Also, that is that worth it? It might be. Actually, if we take damage, we get a... Yeah, if we take a damage, we do get shields. So that's not going to do anything good for us. Okay, we didn't get a black heart or anything from that. But I think it was worth it. I think we... No, we didn't lose our devil deal chance either. I don't think we've gone to the right yet. Yeah, we haven't gone to the right. This is the way to the boss fight. I believe in it. There's a lot of flies shooting in all different directions. I'm a little uncomfy. 
This is worth it. I'm a pro. Sorry, I had to go quiet. I, I had to actually use my entire left brain for that just for a second. Was that a left brain activity or a right brain activity? I feel like problem solving is right brain. Problem solving is because I think right brain is... I think left brain's art and stuff. I don't know. We might never know. Go look it up. Are you left brain or right brain? Are you artistic or are you not artistic? <laughs> the real question is, are you what the artistic brain or not artistic brain? I am slightly artistic. <laughs> oh, that sounds kind of bad. Um, Hello, Mr. Ghost? Okay, don't pull me in. Yeah, let's get out of this floor. We're only at, we're not even past the, I thought we were on womb two for some reason. Oh, I thought, why? Okay, okay, I broke the holy shield and that. Um, Let's re-roll this. I don't even care about the box. We got all the stuff we need. The box is just stupid. I don't want it. And look, we have lots of keys so we can go into the room now. Woo. We do get a day gauze, which gets us a charge. We get the soul of Isaac. Which soul of Isaac is really good. So basically, it rerolls the item. But it doesn't reroll the item. It just gives you the choice of the item you had on the pedestal and a second item, a new item. So that's a really good item. Because it's like, it's guaranteed if the next item is not better, you can at least get the other item, the, the worst item. Also, I'm going to do this. So we're going to grab this. We're going to drop our soul of Isaac. Take this. Xlax does not help us. Fool doesn't help us. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, that sucks. Okay. So what I was trying to do there is Xlax kind of messed me up. But since I had the fool card, I was going to try to get out of here. Get out of here. Also, I'm stupid. I had two chariot cards right here. I was going to try to get into there while I still had the protection. I need to not lose that much health because health is very valuable. But we should be fine. Like we... Our DPS is pretty insane because we have all the different stuff that's doing damage right now. We have we have the compound shots. That's really all that's doing damage. We also have our wisps that don't disappear that do good damage as well. I don't know how much damage they do. I think that's maybe like half our tier damage. Don't quote me on that. But they do damage. So that's more damage output. We output lots of damage. We are big boys. Big boys and girls here. That's not even good, right? Oh, it's Are You Wizard. That gets us a black heart. We like black hearts. Let's go fight, Mom. Now, honestly, getting I Am Wizard, this is the one fight that I like I Am Wizard for. Because look at this. We stand slightly diagonal to her, and we're in a pretty good spot. We're the first away from her, and so that means we have more time to react for the shots, and our life is good. Okay, now we, we want to move a little bit. Okay, well, we lost one, one hit. Now we're good. Now we go up. We do have the Polaroid. We don't have the negative. So this was the good choice. Oh, that was a good neck pop. Oh, wait. We still have uh, I Am Wizard. Now, I Am Wizard just means you can get further away from people and shoot diagonally. And we like that. We're going to be on the lookout for our item room and our shop because we are going to get that on this floor because we have this trinket. I'm trying not to take too much damage, but it happens. We will take... We can now take your soul. Actually, I'll keep, keep Holy Crown until we find the item room, just in case. I'm pretty sure now that we've gone onto this floor with the trinket, we can now drop it and still have the item room. But I'm not 1,000, 100% sure. So, let's do this first. Not that cool. Oh, but we do have the soul of Isaac. And we don't want to use the soul of Isaac yet because it's going to be better when we get to the chest. So, you know what? We'll wait, but we will go pick up your soul because your soul is going to shoot out the exact same tiers as us. Or, uh, what's it called? It's not your soul. It's a found soul. Lost soul is the, the other one. The one, that, the actual item, not the trinket. Let's go in here. Pop you open. And this is why, it, like, we get really, really good items out of chests. Like, we get a lot of items because we have mom's key. It's a really good item. I consider getting it when you can. Because it's, it's, it's a pretty high chance of being in uh, item rooms or shops. That was bad damage to take. 
So it's it's pretty good. I don't know why our little soul man's not helping us. Maybe because our current trinket's still in effect, technically. That might be the case. Ooh, that was close. There we go. We're through. Let's see if we can get a quarter. Nice. <laughs> what are the chances? One in a billion? <laughs> Should I post one in a billion part two? Because that's, that's more of a one in a billion. You know, what are the chances that the one time I say, let's hope we get a quarter. I actually get a quarter. I think that's pretty rare. I think it's the rarest, actually. Okay, let's see what this reverse card is. La Hermitage. Uh, let's drop the Soul of Isaac out here real quick, because I don't know what Hermit does. This actually, I think, turns us into Keeper. Or, I actually, I think it turns the uh, the item in the room into, or anything that's on the floor, into money. And that's why I wanted to take everything out. So, let's buy you. See what we can get from you. Ace of Spades. We can get the Joker card. Let's take the Joker card. Oh, okay. So, what we have is a different item. So, it allows us to trade it in, and we can get a Devil Deal. So, I'm going to switch this. And honestly... Let's take Sulfur. Sulfur's fun. Uh, we might be able to get another another use of that. Okay, we got the two of clubs. Justice. Okay, you're taking our money. That's fine. We get reverse justice, and that's super crazy good. Okay, he's going to drop us even more stuff. Ooh, I, okay, this might be really good for us. That, that's damage up. Damage up. Damage up. Damage up. Damage up. And now look at that. We now have eight damage. I think that was worth it. Uh, let's make sure we pick this up. And real quick, if we if we want to. Well, we can't ace of diamonds in this room, I guess. Or ace of spades. I love how funny how much fun he's having. He's just running around. He, you know, he's grabbing all the items. Let's open this big chest and hope for some good items in here. Or no items, but we do get M80. Swallowed M80 is one of my favorite items. You guys might know that because I, I love it. I've made a video on it, and it's now my new favorite trinket, I think. Ooh, okay, Soul of Apollyon. We use it, turns into flies. And honestly, let's just buy Battery Baby, because Battery Baby go... Bzzzed, and it says it right there. I don't know what Polished uh polished whatever it is does, but if we use... uh What's really cool about if we use uh, Sulfur right now... I don't know why that guy came so fast at me. If we use Sulfur right now... It does split shots, like crazy split shots, and it uses 2020. So like, and it has booger tears. It's super OP. Now, Mr. Purple Fire, can we not do that? Also, ready for this, guys? Just kidding. I can't, I'm not gonna do this. I don't have any red hearts. The whole point of this is ruined. I hate this. We're gonna go full clear. Should we full clear? We've been at this for 48 minutes. You know what? I think you guys are here because you guys like having hanging out with me. So we'll keep on going. Just for you guys. This is the one time. This is a one time special. If you guys like this one time special, leave a like. Because <laughs> likes really help me. Um, honestly, it's kind of crazy that we found uh, found that angel deal. Like that. Or that devil deal card. Because the chances of us getting devil deals on this floor, really low. Because we're not going to ever get them. We have to find a card. The only time we're going to do that is if we uh, have anything else. Okay, watch out. You, you took my luck up. You took my luck up. I forgive you. Okay, it's not going to take that back. I don't forgive you. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here, little baby. Now, I remember what we were doing. We we're trying to charge up Eternal D6 so we could reroll this room. Now, poison damage just means we have even more damage. Like, poison damage plus booger damage means our boogers are poison. And if we stick a booger, it also does poison damage on top of the booger damage. Insane stuff. Okay, you're protected still. I thought this guy was dead. Okay, why are you not dead? Please pick up the pot. Okay, you guys have still not picked up the pot. You guys should be dead. Can you please move? Thank you. I, I think the this the the setup of this room is really bad. Because they, they don't make it so you instantly have access to shoot the invincible guys. And they make it so you have to survive a certain amount of time and dodge. Now, are you, if you're skillful, can you dodge that? Yes. It's not a hard room. But... It's still stupid to make it so a room is just, like, you you have to, like, 
once you're in there, you have to wait in there until you can dodge everything. No, just make it so we can get through. Don't make us take stupid damage. I think these guys are stupid. I hate these guys. Okay, why am I full clearing? Just because I can. It's fun. We like full clearing. And look at this. Look how many little wisps we have. We're taking a lot of damage? Heck yeah. This is probably not the smartest idea. Heck yeah. Not the smartest idea. Now, I think I know where the secret room is. I think it's right here. Now, how did I know that? Well, you see, I kind of went to every other room in this floor. Also, we get all the chests here. Give us give us some stuff. And our boy's going to give us some money. Because he can give us pills. So, if he gives us pills, we're in a good spot. I might come back here with the Ace of Diamonds. Also, that's a pretty good trinket. Now, am I going to take it? No. <laughs> Why would I do something like that? Okay, we're going to come... I, we're going to come back with the Ace of Diamonds. This is going to be good. Trust me. You guys are going to enjoy this. If you guys don't enjoy this, you're kicked out of the club. Just kidding. Just kidding. Stay. Stay a while. You're, you're, too, you're too handsome to go. You guys like that? You guys like when I say something like that? Also, I'm starting to formulate a headache. So should I hurry up so I can stop, stop this and get some water? Probably. Ooh. Okay. If you guys have not seen, Crystal Key is such a good item. And we don't need uh we don't need to take M80 anymore because we're not gonna be donating, so it's not that that good. Because we don't have any red hearts. But basically, Crystal Key, what it does is when you clear a room, there's a chance that if there are any rooms attached to it, any red rooms attached to it, it'll open it up. So it's a good time. Also, thank you. This is why we pay him. We pay him the big bucks, because he is the big bucks. He's the best. So basically, we're going to get a bunch of red rooms on this final floor. We might get the super secret red room. And that means good stuff. So let's get out of here. We got our brimstone. Look at our brimstone. That's insane. We should do... Okay. Since we have booger tears, it's really good to have brimstone. Also, what, what was that? What was that, mister? I need to back up from him. I need to give him some space to cool down. Figure out what he's doing with his life. Why he's doing these dumb shots. Let me go grab my uh, Soul of Isaac before I forget that. You guys were probably like, no, your Soul of Isaac. Why are you forgetting that? No. And my response is, guys, I just forgot for a second. I didn't mean to upset you guys. Please don't be mad. Hope you guys uh, respond to that well. Now, ne we also have every key in the entire world now. We are pretty much invincible let's get our stuff back crystal key you sweet sweet son of a gun we're taking you we're gonna make you get us all the red rooms red rooms me i got so excited i was like that's the biggest chest i've ever seen i'm like i'm an idiot i'm an idiot that is the chest that spawns at the end of every boss fight don't get your hopes up okay so this is what we're gonna do we're going to Real quick, we're going to pick this up. Just for the fun of it. We use it. And we see what insanity our character has. Now, it seems as if we have tech zero and anti-gravity tears. Now, that's fun. That's really, really fun. And we have a lot of pills on the ground. So let's go, uh, let's go see how this works. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. We also have flight. Some slight flight. Now, if you guys didn't know... Also, we have Bumbo now. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. That's my favorite song. Uh, real quick, I'll switch back. We're going to... Um, I might as well. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use Soul of Isaac. Because I want the Eternal D6. We're going to Soul of Isaac and see what we can get. None of these are good. So. Actually. This is fine. This gets us uh, our spun. So spun's really good. Range down. That gives us a damage up. Range down. Damage up. Horf. Nothing. 
Luck down, damage up. And let's re-roll. We get pointy rib. And let's re-roll. We get pill baby. And I think pill baby just might get us spun. Or conjoined. So, um, yes. We are invincible. But we don't have our trinket. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to pop over to this bad boy. Well, we just double used it somehow. Look at this. Ensnare them in our in our teary minefield. You guys are going to watch the video because I'm going to clickbait it with some items that we got right now. And you guys are going to be like, what is he talking about? How did, how did he, how did he get that stuff? How did you get that, those items? I never saw him get those items. He's like, did he reroll? Did he do something? No, no, no. I did not reroll. I did not reroll one bit. Also, our speed's really low. Does this reroll? This doesn't reroll our items every time, right? No, it doesn't. But look, we have all, we are OP. And look, Crystal Key gave us an extra room and you can get extra items and be extra cool. We are invincible. Now, if we can get Delirium, this is a pretty crazy build, and we could really get a good Delirium build. And look how pretty I look. And by pretty, I mean kind of horrible. It's kind of horrifying what creation we've ha we have right now. Now, let's get some red rooms, please. No red room? That's fine. Let's see if we can get Bumbo charged up. We are absolutely destroying. I kind of miss our old build that we were u doing this entire time to get super OP. But look at this. Anti-Grav Tears and Tech Zero might be the most OP combo ever. Might be the most OP combo ever? Clickbait? I love clickbait. Think of clickbait titles. I'm bad at it, and I think my clickbait titles are a little cringe sometimes, but hey. You do what you gotta do. And Larry Jr., you don't see it every day. So we take it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at you. Ooh, a big chest. Let's see what items we get today. This has to be items, I think. <gasps> That's a huge damage up. And Keeper's Can is very, very fun. What happens if we put this item down? <gasps> the luckiest of ups. If we put this item down, can we never get back to our previous form? Are we just stuck in this demon form that we have? This ultimate... Larry Asa Jr. I think that's one what's gonna happen. I really want to get an R key. If we could get an R key right now, think about how crazy that would be. It'd be kind of just w wacky. So we're definitely gonna go. Watch this. Ready? Ready for a trick? Aw. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I thought I was gonna just double double. T it, for some reason, it double transformed us last time. I think I did that somehow. And we get Psyfly. Listen, the clickbait of this video has gone through the roof. Like, this, vi this video just wants to be clickbaitable. You guys are going to be like, well, how does he get so lucky? And can we get the Bob transformation? I think we can get the Bob transformation. What else do we need? What's the other? Oh, we have to get Bob's brain. The one time we're pleading, asking for Bob's brain. Let's hope we get it. You know what? Curse of the Tower, I accept you. Do we have any good bomb items? We do have Bob's head. And look, the more we shoot, the more fire we shoot. We have a pretty decent luck up. This is insane. This is like insanely good. Let's see if the secret room's right here. Thank you. Okay. We also had crystal key pop, which we like a good crystal key pop. And sadly, no R key. But Bumbo... Bumbo happy, Bumbo big, Bumbo happy, Bumbo one coin. That's my Bumbo impersonation. Once again, I will use that whenever I can. Cause I, I, it's, my, it's the one impersonation that I'm kind of proud of. You know, I'm not good at impersonations or accents at all. Whenever I try to do them, they sound really cringy and weird. But that one right there, I think is pretty solid. You know, I think it's just my natural being. I, if, if they ever need a second voice actor for Bumbo, they probably don't want to ask me, but they could if they really wanted to. Like, I, I, would be, I would be up for it. Now, I'm, am I a bad voice actor? Oh, yeah. I cannot, I cannot act for, for anything. I'm such a bad actor. When I try to act, it just gets really cringy because I'm just an awkward person. Um, uh, Bumbo want coin? Hey. Hey, my man. 
Come close to me, I dare you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Arky would have been so much fun on this run. Like, think about it. Think about it. How much fun would it be? All the fun. Watch us. Sorry, baby plum. Today you meet your maker. I can't wait for the day we actually get a uh, R key on one of these runs. That's going to be the day that you guys are such a rad. You guys are going to see that pesky two hour long episode and be like, what did he do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to R key and I'm going to go for a victory lap. I think that's the only fair thing to do. Also, our luck isn't the highest, so we're not going to get a lot of stuff from this. And oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Triple shot plus this means that we have five different things just having tears come out of them. Five. Five different tears with electricity flowing through them. I'm not I'm, I'm not going to move. I don't think I'm going to move this entire fight, and let's see what happens. Let's see how OP I get. How OP do I get? How OP I am? Because I'm pretty sure I'm unstoppable. Wait. Okay. Sorry, second form. We're never coming back. I think I might need to move this a little bit. Okay, we'll shoot once. Let's entrap him. We win game. Now, sadly, we don't have anything to get inside of that pesky room up there uh, to get Mega Stan. So this is going to be the end. Let's just let's just one sec appreciate my tears. Like, look at this. This is an art. This is artwork right here. This is like a This is like one of the best runs ever. Like, let's look what items we have right now. We have keeper. We have uh, keeper's kin. We have Bob's rotten head. We have fate. We have. Do we have the soul locket? No, but we do have anti gravity tears. Oh, that's pill bag. My bad. Um, brother Bobby. We have the battery. We have battery pack, tech zero, cricket's head, sci fly, triple shot. Those are like the best that we have. But like tech zero and zero grab is amazing, and that's gonna be the clickbait most like most likely. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a fun one to make. Let's finish this run off real quick. Look at the outro, and while the outro is playing, let's go back to my beautiful face. My semi beautiful face. I need a shave. I'm shaving tomorrow. I'm gonna go hang out with a lady. So some hang out with a lady, that means shave time. You know why? Because nobody likes this. Like, look at this. I have a bald spot right here. I'm not, I should have shown you guys that, but I have a bald spot right there. And I hope it grows in one day. I'm just looking at myself in the camera. But thank you guys so much for coming to this episode. If you guys like, please, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.